Can you imagine sitting next to the destroyed ruins of your home after a devastating civil war, only to realize that the entire world, world has overlooked this tragedy because of some war happening somewhere else? Ethiopia's bloody civil war finally came to a close on November 2nd of 2022, only a single day short of two years after it began. Estimates are currently wildly disparate, given that the current government seems intent on fighting any, against any sort of reporting in the area, but current estimates are as high as uh, 50... 500,000 dead, all over a small law and order campaign the Nobel Prize winner and Ethiopian president, uh, Abiy Ahmed, promised would be swift and bloodless. But the fact of the matter is, most Americans don't even know about the troubles of Ethiopia, as it's been largely overshadowed by the war in Ukraine, due to it not having an impact on people's lives much and just being less, much less visible outside of Africa. Of course, there are several reasons for this, but we should start with the most obvious. It's no secret that m most people don't pay nearly as much attention to what's going on in Africa as they do in other places. Something that happens in Europe could easily cause a huge change, change abroad, such as massive inflation or growing gas prices. But a war in Africa isn't likely to affect most people who aren't in Africa. Even though up to half a million Ethiopians have died in this war, according to The Economist, it hasn't affected nearly as many people outside of it. Due to this, not nearly as many people would be interested in the civil war down there. It's simply not as important to them as... A, as the war between Russia, Ukraine and Russia, because that war has had ramifications all over the globe. In closing, it's not really because of the war in Ukraine that the civil war is being ignored, though that has definitely contributed to it significantly. The difference is that the war in Ukraine has had consequences that reached around the globe. For example, embargoes against Russia caused American gas prices to skyrocket and the euro to use much of its value.